Good morning, guys, uh, to Azure uh, Talks. Today we are here to understand about the file share. Uh, basically, we will discuss about how to map Azure file share as a network drive. Okay, so this is something very uh, common which uh, people are expecting wherein uh, people want to understand. A uh, few of my friends also want to understand how we can actually create a SMB uh, server messaging, uh, basically how they can actually map a drive in a such a way that uh, they can share the files to somebody else as well. So same way, so it is very commonly used wherein we, we when we were using the corporate networks wherein we used to go to office and uh, then whenever we plug in our laptop, we get we used to get a uh, file share. So same file share can be used through the Azure network. On the Azure itself, we will create a network drive and uh, basically that is called the Azure file share and that will be used as a network drive. So this is the today's agenda. So let's go to the uh, portal.azure.com. Okay, so let me brief you about that uh, what uh, basically uh, the Azure what it offers. So when we talk about the Azure files, it offers a fully managed file share in the cloud using the SMB protocol. So SMB protocol full form is about the server messaging block. The advantage of using file share is that you can replace on-premises file share with Azure file share and big and you can begin able to uh, you will be able to begin able to uh, share the file systems across multiple systems you don't deal you don't have to deal in any kind of hardware basically so all it is on uh, azure that's the first thing the second thing is you need not to procure the hardware so it is very simple uh, same uh, and also it is platform independent that means it can be equally mapped on linux systems windows systems as well as i uh, the iPads and uh, sorry not the iPad the MacBooks basically the Mac OS so what basically uh, this gives is this gives you and uh, very good uh, very good uh, space which can be used across multiple location and also in an corporate uh, you will be able to use it without without actually having the hardware on premises so, so everything will be on azure so let's get started so over here we have already opened the portal.azure.com go to the uh, resource group first and try to create a resource group first on this so let's suppose i'm creating a resource group called the uh, resource group called um okay Okay, so I will make it as blob file storage. Okay, and yes, it is available. I will make it as East US and say next. Uh, tags are very important, so you can tag it as a project and then say demo. Say review and create. So when the validation is passed, just click on create. So this is the first method wherein we have created the blob storage. Now in the blob storage uh, resource group, click to create the storage. So this is the storage account. I will just say storage account. And once this storage account is open, create a storage account with the name uh, called select the uh, resource group by blob storage and then you can storage name can also be a blob um, storage account so make it as uh, blob uh, make it as blog uh, file storage and see if it is allowed yeah so i think it will be allowed to use it uh, and then uh, performance I will make it as standard to save the cost uh, it has these different uh, uh, 
recommendations that uh, in the most of the scenarios we use the general purpose v2 account so again this general purpose v2 account is related to the costing okay and then we have the premium scenarios wherein uh, we require very low latency load latency means it should be very fast so i will go ahead and say advance so it will ask me about different operations whether i want to choose the uh, enable the infrastructure encryption or rest apis operations so based on based on the uh, based on the details which you need on your uh, on your uh, project with respect to the security you can do it same way it will also ask that whether it is a data lake storage or not so i'm just saying that no and uh, blob storage is uh, i'm not taking on the blob storage it is already um, uh, disabled uh, for this we need to have we used to, we need to use the vfs v3 now the access tier is very important so this access tier is something default hot means frequently access data cool means uh, the data will be uh, accessed or backup in very uh, very less 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 uh, very less frequency maybe in uh, frequency okay so thus go and go to the next networking and i will make it as public private and uh, endpoints so i will make it as a public endpoint so that i can use it and map it through the uh, internet i will go for the data uh, data protection when in this talks about the deletion whether if we delete uh, so we will be able to recover it in seven days same thing about all uh, like enable delete for the file share this is for containers this is for blob so this is very important we are going for the file share uh, tracking is not needed right now i will go and say next again i will select the whatever we have put uh, we can go and select uh, from the drop down and say next once this is uh, running the final validations once this is done just click on create so this will take not much time in the meantime uh, it is creating i will tell you one more uh, thing that in the uh, in the storage account once this is created what we will choose we will basically have four uh, uh, four con uh, four type of storage first will be the container second will be the file share third will be the tables and then queues so right now we are not discussing about containers uh, tables and queues we are now discussing about the file share so file share will be used to uh, act as a network share in the in your laptop or in your current company so let's suppose you are uh, doing some check-in in dynamics 365 or you are uh, you are using it uh, for uh, the uh, developers are being using this particular uh, things to upload the uh, uh, videos or audios or uh, some files maybe so what that can be do uh, that can be done is lots of developers are using so you can basically use the file share in that file share you will be able to uh, share the file across the uh, region so this is how it works so I, what I have to do I have to click on the uh, this is the file storage which has been created if i go back and click on this so this is the storage account on this storage account i have the uh, blob service file service queue service and table service so right now i need the file share so i will click on the file share and try to create a file share named uh, project okay so transaction optimized yes or i can make it as hall or cool so this is uh, this is wherein uh, transaction optimized is basically very high level uh, premium uh, uh, level and it is actually used for wherein uh, it is the application is used very frequently then we have the hot and cool so i will make it as transaction optimized and then say create so once this is created we will uh, also have the uh, we will need to go to the properties to like look for the uh, URL so we'll go for the property and see the URL correct URL is this so this is something which to be needed so I'll just copy it as a URL let me open the notepad yes so this is opened so I will just uh, make a smaller one I will go for the URL the URL is this 
and I think e tag uh, quota everything is not required now once we have this I will try to go for the uh, access keys okay so I'll go to the overview okay and look for the access keys okay so these are the access keys this is the storage account name so I will try to grab this uh, information as well this is the storage account name though it will not be used but uh, let's record it and then uh, I have the keys so for this I will just uh, enable the first key so I will just try to click on the show keys and copy the key first key and this particular name so name I have already copied the key is this okay so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, understand about uh, the my computer I will open the my computer okay so give me a minute yes so this is available now what you have to do you have to click on the map drive my network map network drive click on this and while you click on this it is it will be showing like this Z and the folder name so now the uh, server should be like this but however this is our this is in URL so what we have to do we have to modify to match as a folder so I will just say like this what we have to do we have to just replace everything and say forward slash and then this one will also be replaced by the forward slash and then copy this and try to paste it here now uh, it will ask me about the uh, connections so I will just say connect using the different credentials and finish so once I click finish it will ask me about the username and the password so username is this which we copied and uh, this is the blob storage and uh, the password was this see complete uh, string was this and say okay so it, it will try to attempt it and uh, it will show up it should map okay so it is showing me, th me that it is not correct so I will just copy it again and uh, try to make as big as I can and I will just say copy it again try to uh, try to paste it again so that it works yes so it got mapped okay so now let's suppose I want to drop some files so let's suppose uh, I created one file with the name called test so just say new and I will make it as test see how fast it is working I will just make test from local from local laptop okay now just save it and just uh, one time just one after pressing it make it refresh okay same way go to the uh, blob storage go to the files here and see it has been created or not if you can see it is created same way you can right click and uh, try to upload a file I will just do one thing I will quickly open this go to the desktop and I will say new uh, files and I will say this is uh, test file from I will make it as Azure so let's see I need to upload it and I will cancel this I will upload here uh, in case it is uh, I know that file is already there I can mark it as overwrite else I can just click on the folder and uh, I will just say upload it okay and upload select and upload it will upload so if you can see this is this is from local and this is from Azure. Same way, if you go to the folder, it this will be automatically updated. Make sense? So I think uh, this particular uh, video helps you in your uh, uh, in your further uh, questions. I think uh, my friend from the LinkedIn would be happy to see this video. He was a bit uh, confused how we can do it. He's he's not a very experienced guy. He's very fresher, but uh, I, I I made my day for helping him. 
okay so thank you for uh, seeing and watching this uh, video and also i will recommend you to uh, those who are learning azure please share with them those who are freshers or ask them to uh, at least view this channel uh, like and subscribe thank you all bye bye